living organisms need nutrients food to build up most of their own body molecules and to get energy for doing work the process by which the organisms obtain and utilize the nutrients in various biological activities is called nutrition in this module we will learn about the nutrition in human beings human beings are heterotrophic omnivorous organisms they obtain their food from plants animals and their products by holozoic mode of nutrition the essential components of human diet are 1 water 2 carbohydrates 3 fats 4 proteins 5 minerals and 6 vitamins Holozoic nutrition in human beings involves four steps Ingestion when the food is taken in through the mouth Digestion when the big organic molecules are broken into smaller ones inside the body with the help of digestive system absorption when the simple molecules are absorbed into the cells assimilation when the absorbed nutrients are utilized inside the cell the human digestive system consists of an alimentary canal and associated digestive glands the alimentary canal is a long tube with muscular walls glandular epithelial lining and varying diameter it extends from mouth to the anus when uncoiled the alimentary canal measures nearly 9 meters long tube in which the ducts of several digestive glands open to secrete their respective digestive secretions alimentary canal consists of several organs mouth buccal or oral cavity pharynx stomach small intestine large intestine and three glands associated with it are salivary glands in buccal cavity liver pancreas We eat various types of food which has to pass through the same digestive tract. Tigers. The food is first crushed in our mouth with our teeth. There in the buccal cavity a fluid secreted from salivary glands called saliva wets the crushed food. The saliva also contains an enzyme called salivary amylase. that breaks down starch and glycogen into maltose then the wet food is pushed further into the alimentary canal through esophagus the wall of esophagus is highly muscular the esophagus exhibits peristaltic movement that is contraction and expansion movement of walls so that the partially digested food is pushed forward in the tract This peristaltic movement occurs throughout the alimentary canal. From the mouth, the food is pushed to the stomach through the food pipe or esophagus. Further digestion of food takes place in the stomach. The muscular walls of the stomach help in mixing the food thoroughly with gas. three types of gastric glands present on the inner surface of the stomach wall which secrete hydrochloric acid protein digesting enzyme pepsin and mucus the hydrochloric acid creates an acidic medium which facilitates the action of the enzyme pepsin
the small intestine is the longest part of the alimentary canal and is site of complete digestion of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. It is divided into three parts, duodenum, jejunum and ileum. It receives the secretions of liver and pancreas. The food coming down from the stomach is acidic and has to be made alkaline for the pancreatic enzyme to act. Bile juice from the liver is stored in the gallbladder until required in the duodenum. Bile juice provides alkaline medium and breaks the large globules of fat into small globules and increases the efficiency of enzyme action. The pancreas secretes pancreatic juice which contains enzymes like trypsin and lipase. Trypsin helps in the digestion of protein and lipase breaks down the emulsified fats. The walls of the small intestine contain glands which secretes intestinal juice called sucus entericus which is a mixture of several enzymes. These enzymes finally convert the proteins into amino acids, complex carbohydrates into glucose and fats into fatty acids and glycerol. All these products are soluble in water and very easily absorbed by the walls of the intestine which contain blood capillaries. The inner lining of small intestine has numerous finger-like projections called villi which increase the surface area for absorption. The villi are richly supplied with blood vessels which takes the absorbed food to each and every cell of the body. In the cells, the nutrients are utilized for obtaining energy, building up new tissues and repair of old tissues. This process is known as assimilation. The small intestine is followed by large intestine which also consists of three parts, 